About 20% of all cancer is due to being overweight or obese. 11 different cancers from breast and endometrial to colon and kidney cancer are linked to weight gain and obesity. Missouri has, you know, one of the higher rates of overweight and obesity in the country. We've seen health benefits in terms of cancer risk for weight loss as little as five pounds, but the more you can lose, you really can see these huge changes in risk. Your body mass index, a measure of body fat based on height and weight, should be below 25 to maintain a healthy weight. Researchers at the Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine are studying how weight affects cancer risk and the best methods to maintain weight loss. What the research really shows is that successful maintenance of weight loss includes both physical activity and a reduction in your caloric intake focus on eliminating junk food and sugar-sweetened beverages from a family's diet. We want people to stick with it. Obesity poses a risk at all stages of life. Washington University physician Dr. Kelly Moley is conducting a study in mice to determine if obesity during pregnancy increases prostate cancer risk in male offspring. It's clear that changes are occurring as early as before conception that could potentially impact your predisposition to developing cancers. This is key to determining our risks and how we develop those diseases later in life. Being overweight or obese increases your cancer risk. Seitman is investigating links between weight and cancer recurrence. Being overweight and obese as a cancer survivor is associated with worse outcomes, both in terms of quality of life, in terms of recurrence and survival. When we talk about cancer prevention, thinking about making lifestyle changes to focus on something that's going to lead to healthy weight over the long term, because that's what's going to reduce your cancer risk.